Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of my video on dyeing silk yarn. So I showed you how I get the process started, how I soak the yarn, get it ready. And as promised in this video, I'm going to show you all the beautiful colors that I dyed. So you're gonna see that for the rest of this video. And I thought, if you don't mind, if you don't mind me talking on top of that, that I would share a little bit about why I started this channel. Why do I make YouTube videos? In my last video, I talked about how I got my start dyeing yarn. And it seemed that you really appreciated hearing a little bit about my background. So I thought this is this would be a good opportunity to talk a bit about why I started making YouTube videos. So in a nutshell, the main reason is I needed a way to advertise my business. When I started dyeing yarn four years ago, I had absolutely no idea how to go about number one, running a business, and number two, getting my name out there so that people knew about my yarn or knew where to find me. And that is still something that I'm struggling with today. In fact, I think that most people who are in business for themselves, one of the main things that they struggle with is how do you get people to find you? It's a big world out there and there's many businesses that are competing for everyone's attention. So how do you stand out or how do you get your brand known. So I was new to everything. I was new to all kinds of social media like Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, I'm still learning these things today. But basically I had to learn everything quickly and try to make it work. So I'm not a very outgoing person. I like to stick to myself. So putting myself out there, especially doing videos and talking in front of an audience and, and sharing a bit of my life, that was something that I found very difficult to do. And I didn't really want to do it. So it was my husband who encouraged me to give it a try. He said, this is the way that things are going. If you want your business to get known, that's just part of how things work today is through social media. So he said, why don't you just give it a try? He said, you might be surprised. He goes, you have a lot of things to share with people. He says, instead of viewing it as just exposing yourself to strangers, he says, he said, why don't you provide something valuable that they can benefit from? And at the same time, they will get to know you and they will get to know your business. And that in turn will hopefully attract people to eventually check out the website and purchase from you. But in the meantime, give something of value that people will appreciate and before I continue let me just apologize about my dog you will probably hear him chime in from time to time he likes to make his presence known so where was I we were talking about why I decided to start making YouTube videos so yeah um, advertise my business but also give something of value and I think that that's something that I've stayed true to. At the beginning, I found making videos so difficult. As I mentioned, I'm not an outgoing person, so it just went against my nature to do these videos. I found them uncomfortable to make. I didn't feel confident talking in front of an audience, even though 
don't literally have people in front of me still with the camera in front and expressing myself and demonstrating things I just felt stiff and scared to do it it was uh, it just didn't come natural to me as time has gone on though I have found it a little bit easier I'm getting more relaxed and hopefully that's showing in my videos especially too because now I'm more excited about making these videos especially when I get your feedback I get so many comments on how my videos especially on dyeing yarn have helped you or given you the confidence to give yarn dyeing a try or to improve skills and build on skills that you already had when I read those types of comments it just makes me want to make videos so I just wanted to say how much I appreciate getting your positive feedback on that it just encourages me to keep making these videos and my YouTube channel has now become a creative another creative outlet for me I am surprised but I actually enjoy the process of making videos from storyboarding so I'll actually write down my ideas write down the film clips that I need to get you know I enjoy planning out my videos I enjoy thinking of ways to make them look aesthetically pleasing I love doing research to find out how to make my videos look better and be more entertaining and again be informative and give value back to my viewers so now instead of feeling dread when I have to make a video I actually look forward to it because I view it as another art form so that being said my videos I can't pump them out because I really want them to be of high quality I'm not saying that my videos are the best ones out there or that they're really that great I have so much more to learn but they are improving and I really enjoy taking the time to do the best job that I can do and so I can I, I do feel that my videos are getting better and I'm seeing that in the way that you respond to them and that my audience is growing I must be doing something right so that again encourages me to keep going so I really do enjoy making the videos now they do take a lot of time to produce they take a lot of time to edit so I will probably be never I will probably never be one of those channels that put out a video every week or put out a couple videos every week or so um, I just don't have the time to do that and I would rather my videos be of better quality and less of them than just pump out a bunch of mediocre videos that I won't be happy with and I'm sure you won't be happy with either so that's it in a nutshell um, I started the videos primarily to advertise my business but now it's still that still is a big function and of, of the, it still is a big reason why I put the videos out it's part of my advertising but also I love teaching what I've learned and I have so much to share not just with yarn dyeing because even with that I'm still learning and so any new uh, things that I've that I've learned I'm willing to pass on but I'm also an avid knitter and I'm starting to get into crochet as well I design knitwear and so those are things that I also want to share with you because I'm sure if you're interested in dyeing yarn it's because you want to use the yarn in your projects so most likely you are a crocheter or a knitter or a weaver or some kind of artist who enjoys working with fibers 
So I want to share those kinds of things on my channel as well, especially with uh, knit knitwear design. That is something that I love doing and I'm learning that. In my last video, I talked about that that's kind of the reason why I first started dyeing yarn was so that I would have a supply of yarn ready for my design work. And then it kind of flipped and then it became kind of the, it turned into a business. But I have a lot to share on design work. And so in future videos, I'm going to be sharing mo my uh, process and uh, sharing some of my designs, some of the background, how I come up with the ideas, how I write the patterns, how I do the sizing. There is so much that I want to share on that topic. So stay tuned for videos such as that. So that being said, my YouTube channel is the primary source for any questions that you have on yarn dyeing or design work, things like that. Um, my website, my emails, my Instagram, those are not the platforms that I have set aside for questions such as that. Those are specifically just for my business. So any business related inquiries as far as purchasing my yarn, those are what those platforms are for. YouTube though, any questions that you have, you can leave them in the comments for my videos. And I do try to get back to all of the questions or comments that are left on my channel. Sometimes it takes me a while, but I do read them all and I do respond. And if I don't respond, chances are it's going to, uh, if the questions are relevant, they will end up in a video and be answered that way. So any questions on yarn dyeing, please just leave them on my YouTube channel. Leave them under a video that you've watched and I will get back to those questions eventually. Now there are some things that I am not willing to discuss um, I'm very generous with the information that I give on my techniques and methods for yarn dyeing. But keep in mind, this is a business that I have, and this is how I support myself and my family. So are, there are things that I will not share. For example, my color recipes, the specifics of how I I do some of the, how I do the colors uh, that are on my website, I won't give you specific details on that for obvious reasons. Um, as well, some of the supplies that I have, for example, where I buy, where I purchase the yarn that I feature on my website, those sources. I keep confidential as well. Again, because this is my business, it's my source of income. So those are things that I don't share. So that's it. The silk is done. It turned out so beautiful. All of the colors, I'm so happy with how they turned out. I haven't dyed silk in 100% silk in quite a while. It was a real treat to to uh, to do this again. Like I've mentioned before, silk is my favorite fiber to dye. I love working with it. I love how it takes the color. Like, look at this. Look at how saturated and, and beautiful that is. So I thoroughly enjoy doing this. And right now I'm going to show you all the colors that I dyed. So thanks again for your support, for your feedback. I really do appreciate the 
support that you've given this channel and I look forward to producing so many more videos and giving informative information. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and again to show your support you know be free leave comments uh, share these videos if you wish subscribe so that you don't miss out on any other content that I have coming I really appreciate your comments and just keep them coming so I look forward to uh, speaking with you and sharing more exciting things with you in my upcoming videos I thank you for your patience as well because I can't put the videos out very fast but I am trying to be consistent and more importantly keep the quality of my videos just keep improving those I think that that is far more important than the quantity so again thank you for the support for my channel again subscribe if you wish and I look forward to chatting with you next time. Bye.